a warm and rewarding applause in your performing opening night. It feels good. Imagine just for a moment that you are receiving all the recognition for your acting on stage. That is what you see in this section of the video. The curtain call for our production, the golden cacao bean. The actors are receiving the well-deserved applause from the audience. This is the moment that we have worked for. On the left side here, you see me looking at the theater where the play was going to be presented, setting up the things needed for the technical rehearsal. After everything was in place, the actors arrived for the first time at the theater. As the director of the play and to help the actors build the characters, I used some of the rehearsals techniques of Augusto Boal from the Theater of the Oppressed. I had the fortune to personally work with him. Let me tell you now a little more about me. For six years, I was the director of the training unit of the Puerto Rican Traveling Theatre, as well as one of the acting teachers. For the company, I also directed their summer tour for two years. I also worked at La Mama Theatre as an actress. And I have staged many plays for Around the Block and Theatre for the New City for Mass Transit Theatre, Latte Theatre. This is just to mention a few, and of course, many failed productions. My film work is an important part of my career. I have produced and acted in films that have been presented in international festivals. My personal experience will be shared in the class with you. In this production, the actors had to sing, dance, and use a lot of characterization work to convey many different characters, from parrots, monkeys, a wild cat, to a jaguar, a hawk, deities, and a sunflower. Chomija, a young Mayan orphan girl, is the main character of the play, in the rehearsal, you see her at the bottom frame of this video, interacting with the other actors. For this piece, I hired a musical director and a choreographer, in addition to the rest of the crew composed of stage manager, a technical director, stage hand, a makeup artist, a light person, a sound person, a set designer, a costume designer, a master prop, and all that the production needed to be ready for the stage. In the rehearsals, and to build the characters, I used improvisations and Stanislavski techniques of acting. In the class, you will go over these exercises with me to develop your skill as an actor, as well as other acting techniques like Michael Chekhov, actually Stanislavski's brilliant student. Chekhov developed an acting technique, a psychophysical approach in which transformation working with impulse, imagination, and inner and outer gestures are central. It offers clear and practical tools in working with imagination, feelings, and atmosphere. All this will help you to go from the reading of the script to the staging of scenes and monologues. The use of light is very important in theater. In this scene, we see the use of lights. Our light designer did an amazing work as well as our costume designer, the set designer, and of course, the acting and the use of an original mask and the special effect we used to create the atmosphere and the magic of the scene. 
You can check a video of the rehearsals and also a video of the presentation of the play at the Sia Theatre in the blog. Theatre is a teamwork. Actors, costume designers, directors, light designers, set and sound designer, the composer of the music, and all involved in the production become a family. Everyone working with the same purpose, to have a good production that the audience enjoys. Everybody has to work as a team to get to the point when you are ready for the opening night. The whole team needs to dedicate their energies and passion to the production. Passion, punctuality, discipline, dedication, and they know how to work with the other one, collaborating with each other. The play was about to open very soon, and we needed to get ready for the last run throughs and the dress rehearsals. All the elements coming together during the technical rehearsal. The light designer has set up the lights, the sound designer is ready to start, with the sound operator. The stage manager is making sure that everybody's in place to begin the cue to cue, which means that we're going over all the lights and sound changes. Actors need to take their places, be ready for the cue to cue, and then the dress rehearsal begins where all the elements come together. After the dress rehearsal, any necessary adjustments are done right there at the theater. Here you see me giving the actors notes. The actors need to go over them for the following day. The work does not finish after the rehearsal. The actors need to do their homework. This is a very important part of the rehearsal process of a play. Do you think you have the stamina the drive for the long rehearsal, all that dancing, acting, singing, memorizing lines as they did. It is hard work. You have to have the drive, the passion to achieve your goals. If they did it, you can also do it, but you need to train, you need to develop the necessary skills to be in a professional production. A production can be very enjoyable and fun. The play was presented at the Stage Theatre Festival in New York City. We had a good run at the Sia Theatre, where the play was very well received. I'm Gloria Celaya, Artistic Producing Director of Felt Theatre, and you are very welcome to join the class.